Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to, can you guess, can you guess, you probably can by the title, reverse and stop animation. So we've got this animation which I implemented in the tween animation video, if you haven't checked that out I recommend having a look. So it changes the background color of the container from red to blue, obviously the animation type doesn't matter. So what we want to do, first I'm going to show you is the reverse animation. And I'm going to do that based on a event. So I'm going to say child. So the child is going to be a column. In here, I'm going to have a children. This is going to be widgets. I'm going to have two raised buttons. It's going to have a child. And it's going to say reverse. This is going to say, uh, see now I need to implement the on crest. So, and this one, I'm going to have one more and that's going to say stop. So, we're going to say stop. And so, for the reverse one, we just need to do underscore controller. Instead of doing dot forward, we do reverse. Pretty simple. And then we're going to say underscore controller dot stop. And that will literally just stop it. So now if we was to reload it. So obviously the container is now restricted in terms of size. So if I click reverse, as you can see, it is now reversing. And let me just reboot it. And I will click stop. When it gets to about the purple color. As you can see, I've pressed stop. It should get all the way to blue, but it did not. That's really it. That's all there is to the reverse and stop methods for animations. If you have any questions, though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.